Friday morning here at the Collegiate Championships, and uh, things are starting to shake out. A little different uh, strategies today in formats. Well, we've got a whole bunch more factors involved that we didn't have yesterday. We have longer tee pads, we have no backups when your partner can be there to bail you out of trouble, and we have win today. So scores are going to go up, guys are going to be maybe stressed from here, here from time to time, so we'll see how they can handle it. Well, what's going on right now is we've got uh, singles on two courses, and this afternoon they'll flip-flop courses and it's actually being set up just like a tournament that you guys are affiliated with. Uh, the scoreboard's out and you'll be moving up, not necessarily according to your school, but according to your score today on individual rounds. Let's take a look at some of the first round highlights now. Mississippi State, Mike Frasetta. Daniel Ray, Mississippi State. Tim Reagan, Indian Hills Community College. Jake Wagner, Georgia College and State University. Collegiate Games, and I just want to say this is something else. Uh, these guys are doing a really amazing thing. Uh, it seems like it's going to be a super growth uh, for the sport. It's uh, pretty exciting to watch a team atmosphere, too. All the guys are really helping each other out and pumping each other up. It's, a, it's an awesome thing. I wish I could have gotten to this you know, a while back, but of course they didn't have it. So I think it's going to be a wonderful thing for the sport. I'm looking forward to see more of it, and I can't wait to see the growth that it gives everybody, the colleges, the, the players in the sport, and, and everything else.
enjoyed those random highlights, but now we're going to get to exactly what you want. We've got the cream rising to the top from singles here Friday afternoon. Yesterday we were playing doubles on both these courses from the red tee pads, and today singles from the blue tee pads with the out of bounds as a factor, and the wind is up as well. So the teeth of the hippodrome and the hogback is showing today. Well, it, it definitely showed. We've got some proud guys here. We're no longer really focusing in on the team today, although we still have the team effect. Today it was singles and coming out on top after two rounds, shooting a scorching 98 from University of Alabama, Birmingham, James Williams. One stroke behind that, shooting very well as well, Scott Perrick from Western Illinois. Sitting in third right now, out of the great state of Oregon, Chris Becker, one of Dave's kids, got off to a good start today. He's at 100. One stroke behind that, at 101 is Lee Jones. And back to the Oregon field here. As, uh, we've got a three-way tie, actually, Barry. Uh, in fifth place would be Patrick May, who had the lead this morning, and he's from Augusta State. He's sitting at 103. Uh, also with him is Cody Cornett from Oregon as well. That team is really showing, uh, showing their strength today. Well, Cody's a former All-American, and he's looking to make that push. Also tied with those guys at 103 from the University of Georgia, Adam Schneider. One stroke behind them, we also have a nice little uh, uh, caboose of four pack here. Nate Bush shot 47-57 from Oregon. Man, that team coming on strong. That's a 104 for him. Tied with him after a good day, Mr. Eric Bailey out of the University of Arkansas. Eric also an All-American from last year, so looking to make that push. Speaking of All-Americans from last year, we have last year's individual champion, Drew Davis from Mississippi State. Still in the hunt, 104, six strokes back with lots Lots of long, tough golf to go yet. Well, he and his partner, Robert Stroop, will have plenty to talk about tonight because he's also sitting at 104 Mississippi State trying to gang up for that push. I'll tell you, Friday afternoon, uh, you can really feel the cream rising to the top. What do you think is going to happen tomorrow, champ? Well, I think, we, as we've seen earlier today, some of the homies that have, have a little more experience on these courses may not uh, be so stressed out when they have the wind and the elevated baskets and stuff. So we look for some of the homies to pick it up a little bit. But we know that some of the uh, uh, traveling teams are also very strong. So hopefully they'll shake off some of the, uh, the energetic nerves and uh, get down to some real golf. Well, it's Friday afternoon, I tell you, and it's been a long day. It's been a great day. The, uh, the pride from these college teams out here is something special. If you're in college and you want to be out here, ncdgu.com is how you get involved. Now don't forget, Disc Golf United. You guys need to go over there. If you'd like to win a bag, exactly like Mr. Barry Schultz and the cart, cart. cart included. Uh, you know, you need to get to Disc Golf U. You need to sign up. The, the promo code is CLASH2010. That's CLASH2010. That'll get your name in the hat. You can win some unbelievable prizes. Check it out. We'll see you tomorrow.